Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's recipe, I have this bomb, creamy, shrimp stuffed salmon roll up. So, so good. And it's swimming in this garlic butter sauce. Can't wait to show you guys how it's done. Before we begin, if you enjoyed today's recipe, please take a moment to like it. And without further ado, let's jump right in. All right guys, here are the ingredients. I will be sure to leave them down below for you. I am using spinach, lemon, Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of dry ranch seasoning. Also for the seasoning, I'm using onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, lemon pepper, Old Bay, um, Italian seasoning, ground black pepper, just to name a few, okay? All of them will be below for you. I have the shrimp, of course, with butter, also, you will need some cream cheese, onion, bell peppers, and some toothpick to keep everything together from falling off. And we have the salmon right there as well. Everything that I use today will be listed below, so don't worry if you say, hey, you missed this. It's gonna be down below for y'all. So let's begin. We're going to drizzle some olive oil to a medium high heat skillet. We're going to add in our bell peppers as well as the onion. We're going to saute these for about a minute or two. Now, if you wanna add some minced garlic to this, you can, however, I didn't. And also, I'm going to be cooking my spinach as well. If you want to add your spinach fresh, you can, but I'm going to saute these for about 30 seconds. Didn't even notice my mic was a little bit too far from me. Anyways, I am going to remove this and set it aside. We're going to move on to the shrimp. So I'm going to grab the shrimp and start dicing them into small, small little pieces, just like so. Now that we're done with the shrimp, I am going to transfer them to a bowl. And this is the bowl where we're going to mix everything together, okay? Next, I am going to be adding my saute bell peppers, onion, and the spinach. Next, I am going to be adding my cream cheese. This is about four ounces of cream cheese, but make sure it's room temperature, okay? It's nice and softened. And also this right here is ranch salad seasoning. Also, we're going to be adding some mozzarella cheese. Of course, you can add Parmesan as well. And this right here is the Worcestershire sauce. Yes, I finally got it right. And also we're going to be adding about two tablespoons of that seasoning mix together, okay? So I'm mixing them together and then I'm going to take two tablespoons of that, add it to my mixture. And save the rest for the salmon later. Now we're going to squeeze some lemon juice in there just like that. Then we're going to mix everything together. Now that we have our shrimp mixture nice and ready to go, it's time to stuff our salmon. Now, let me explain. I know you see two black bars on the side of this video. It's because that one clip has been corrupted. I tried everything to retrieve it. 
and nothing was happening. I was filming this video for my short channel as well. So this is the clip I'm using. So basically this is what I did. I went ahead and sliced a whole salmon filet then the thick part of the salmon, it was too thick. I'm like, it's not going to cook right. I need to slice it right in the middle. So that's what I did. As you can see, now I have three flaps of that salmon filet. I went ahead and grabbed my shrimp stuffing, whatever you mixture, whatever you want to call it. Then I place it on top, roll it up just like so, like you're making sushi. Then you cut it right here. Next, you're going to grab your toothpick. I don't know why I said Q-tip. Toothpick, okay? Then you're going to secure it with the toothpick so it doesn't come undone. I'm going to do it one more time because I can show you better than I can tell you. Now here's what you do last. You are going to drizzle some olive oil on there and then you're going to season. Season like there's no tomorrow, okay? You want your salmon to taste delicious, so make sure to well season it. By the way, if you are looking for more salmon recipes, I have a whole bunch, I have a whole playlist for you. I have lemon butter, lemon pepper salmon, I have honey garlic, I have garlic butter, I have honey obey, I even have a salmon wellington. Check it out. There's so many more. You don't want to miss those. So if you're a salmon fanatic, check it out. All right, now I am going to place them to this baking tray here. I am going to bake those for about 40 minutes on 350, okay? You don't have to do nothing else. Make sure to spray the, the, the baking dish, by the way, as you guys can see. So I did not cover it. I just placed it in there, bake it for 40 minutes on 350. I just spray it afterwards just so it can be nice and not too dry. And once you are done, this is the result. Fresh out the oven, okay? Now I'm going to make a quick garlic butter. This is melted butter. I added some dry parsley in there. Also, I'm going to be adding some, yep, you know it, <laughs> garlic powder. Mix it up together and we're going to drizzle that all over our salmon. And basically, this is the final result, you guys. This tastes like it came from a restaurant. It's so, so good. This was mm, chef kiss, okay? You got to try this. You can make it the regular way. It doesn't have to be rolled up but it was so, so, so good. Can't wait for you to try. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Also subscribe. I will see you guys on the next recipe. Bye guys.